everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, thanks for joining me today. Well, Kira stepped in it, and now she's gonna hear from me. Don't ever talk about my wife, Kira. Come on. Like, are you serious right now? Like, what did you think was gonna happen? You think I was gonna be like, oh, that's, that's okay. No, you know the rules. And now you obviously stepped in it, and your forehead's about to get roasted. So, let's talk about it. So I've been I've been made aware at this video and her recent Why Wednesday that she decided that she wanted to uh, make fun of my wife or something like that. I haven't actually seen it. I've seen a couple of posts on the Reddit forum, which is Kira Renee Sivertson, which is a great forum. Go there. It's awesome. Like, I think Kira's baiting me because obviously my views are more than hers. And I think, honestly, I'm the only person really covering what she's doing on the Internet. And she hates me. And that's fine. Look, I'm I'm all fair game. You want you got you and press tickles want to like come at me. I am fair game. Like, I would love for you guys to do a roast session about me. Talk about fat and ugly and bald I am. I get it. I understand that. I, I'm like, I know that that's the rules, right? Go ahead. I have a snark form on Reddit. I love it. It's great. I'm often in there reading and people are like, you're in here reading with a sock account. I, I'm not in there with a sock account, dinkles. I would happily engage with you people. Absolutely would. But your moderator kicked me out of the group, so I'm not even allowed to stand up for myself, especially when people lie. But it's okay. Having hate is just the par for the game on YouTube. That's just the way it goes. But Kira's hate on her platform is a little bit different, right? It's like this: she did something so unacceptable, then and it and, a, and it and it got so many people riled up to it, and it's giving me hope, breath of fresh air, that people still think that living a debaucherous lifestyle is not okay. Okay, there is still hope out there for humanity, even though it's still dwindling where where some people would say Kira you're empowered to leave your family in the dust and take your nanny's husband and and go do fart sniffing threesomes in Vegas they would empower and you say yes queen slay they would tell you to slay okay but I'm not telling you to slay I think you're gross I think you're a piece of crap I think that all of this even though you are consenting adults matters not because you have children on the internet and apparently in this video she talks about her kids finding my videos and to that I say, okay, why are you letting your kids on YouTube, first of all? Second of all, yeah. You don't think just, you, here's the thing. Kira thinks that I'm the only one like that's gonna expose this to her children. Her children are gonna come of age someday and realize what she's done. They're gonna ask her hard questions, especially if she's still with press tank, which is highly unlikely, okay? Highly unlikely, but let's say for a miracle sake that they're still together, okay? These kids turn teenager level and they start, you know, becoming, aware of who their mom really is. You think they're not going to ask questions like, <laughs> mom, did you cheat on dad? And she's going to lie to her children, right? But eventually it's going to come out. And then then Kira becomes that person. It's not just me out here talking about it. Like, again, there's like thousands and thousands of people on the snark th forums, but I'm the only one doing videos on it. And the reason why I do videos on Kira is because she was a family vlogger and still is to some degree who exploited her children to get where she was, the platform that she had to build the life that, of her dreams and then threw it all away anyway. And this is, and, and threw it all away for a strange thing, which is Prestigals, right? And I've been talking about that for a while because it's a case study in the BS that family vloggers feed you, that their lives aren't what they seem, that it's all fake and you can't add up to it and you can't stack up to it. Okay, it's, it's not real. And the only people who suffer in the end are these children, right? And so people come at me like, well, what do you, what do you say that? Her son's watching you. Um, her son shouldn't be watching me. Maybe watch your kids. Monitor what they're watching. My kids aren't on YouTube. They're not allowed on YouTube or on social media. They never would be. They're not going to be until they're at least 16. Able to even have a social media platform until I, I'm going to beg them not till they're 18. Okay. Like your kids, like, why don't you watch your kids? Don't blame me for covering you. You put your, it's almost like she's like, how dare people notice the, how crappy I am? <laughs> Are you serious? Anyway, that's a little rant, but I'll watch this. It is one hour and 22 minutes long. So obviously I'm gonna have to skip through a bunch of it. I wish I had timestamps of what I should be really watching here. But uh, again, let's snark and we'll get to it. And I'll discuss the issue of talking about my wife on the internet. Okay. All right, let's do it. It's just like, what can you do? Oh my God, it's so cold. Just like your heart burn. Okay, Alicia, let's go. 
I should have got a snap, but I just like didn't feel like it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the cackle. The cackle. Like, you know when you don't like somebody and then they cackle? And that cackle is straight poison for your brain, makes you want to punch a baby? That's her cackle. I don't like her so much that her cackle makes me, like, irrationally angry. <laughs> Not the version the day after. That's funny. I did not take <laughs> Why'd you take wait, did you take your extension? This is so like I'm this is a case study also in the kit chat about like how women interact with each other. Like obviously men don't do stuff like this and we don't put extensions in our hair, but like even if a guy had changed something, I'm not like, hey, just wondering, did you like totally change? The guys don't even notice things, man. <laughs> take my extensions out. Um I actually got them just cut so that they would be Why don't you just grow your hair? The forehead takes a blood of today, I understand. A little bit healthier looking because the ends were so dead. I really need to get new extensions, but I'm going to wait until after the wedding. Uh, okay. <laughs> why? To get new ones because, yeah. Because why? I feel like I'm trying out Don't say because and then say yeah. The word because has to be followed up with, you know, a descriptor of the thing you were talking about before it. You know, I wanted to, I'm going to get it later because, yeah. Because why? some different hair lengths to see what I want for the wedding and then the wedding let's again why are you doing it <laughs> just go to the court even the courts like we don't like you I'll get new ones either right before the wedding or right after because I'm debating kind of like chopping it all off halfway through the wedding I feel like that'd be really fun what do you mean halfway through the wedding what do you mean to like what? Drastically cut it. I've seen videos. Halfway through the wedding. What is that supposed to mean? And I think that it was really cute. But yeah, I just don't. I don't know. I don't know. My hair, you guys. I go back and forth. You've probably. We know. You've been to the salon like 88 times since your divorce. We got it. You go back and forth about everything. You suck at making decisions. We know. If you guys have watched me for a couple of years, like I go back and forth with my hair and that's why it's dead. That's why right now I love the long hair. Like I love the extensions, but I just, there are a lot to manage. And when it's winter time, if you live in a cold area where you're like wearing coats all the time oh and you have long hair or fake hair, whatever, it's really annoying because it gets so bunched up in the back and like really dead and just people pay people pay to hear this. They pay to hear this. Horrible. Excuse me. So um, that's another reason I don't like it to be long in the winter time is just because it gets so like nasty in the back. You're nasty in the back. Burn. I mean, in more than one way. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to. Farts. She sniffs farts. This People keep asking me in the comments, what's this fart thing? Like, I'm pretty sure it just happened, but I think she, she on, a, on a live, admitted that she, like her and Prestane, have, like, fart kink. And if you don't know what that is, neither do I, but I assume it's that you like it when they fart while doing things. And, ew, there's poo particles in the air then. But it's just people, it's just, it's debaucherous, okay? People with, like, weird kinks, like, it's, relax, okay? Just chill. Light off. It's my little plant thing. It's so bright. <laughs> Move on to thing! Tim Horton's hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, I've been... So last night, I went to bed... I don't even know what time it was. Sometime around, like, early 8 o'clock, if not before. And I laid with... If you guys know my story, then you know this already. But I fell asleep with Aura. She wanted to sleep in my bed because it's her birthday. So I was like, fine, fine, fine. A thing, so, but we want... We were going to be farting a lot. So just be careful. Oh, I felt pink awesome eye alert with her, which I hate doing at that time because now today, like at seven o'clock, I was like done, <laughs> ready for bed. It's so hard for me to stay awake, which is funny because I'm a night owl. But oh, do you like her? Do you like her? Do you like her? What do you say? Do you like her? I don't think so. She's smelly. Even you'd be like, ew, she stinks. And he likes to sniff his own butthole. Right, guys? Oh, he likes it. Watch. Watch this. Watch this. Maybe he makes the noise. Ready? He 
He likes the rubbies on the ears. Hmm? He kisses. You're a good boy. You just drink water? Hey, you did. Okay, I love you. Bye. Bye. I just feel so tired. I feel like I go through these phases where I get so tired. And I don't know if it's because I'm oversleeping. Too much pink eye. Or if it's because I'm just so loose. What is the sound? I really, like, overtired? You know what I mean? <sighs> Same. <sighs> we get Lucy these bones that have stuff in the middle. Called marrow. Dumbass. They're so loud and annoying. <laughs> Sounds like someone we all know. It's Kira. It's Kira. She's loud and annoying. But she loves them, so we keep buying them because they're good for her, but blah, 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 blah. of keeping her busy and Yeah. Cause F spending time with the animals. It's all about keeping them busy. But they're so annoying. Like if she's eating it upstairs and we're downstairs, you can hear it through the floor. <laughs> well, your floor's made of cardboard, so I don't understand why you're surprised <laughs> your ears right next to the ceiling you can hear everything i'm saying <laughs> I have my energy drink because i was drinking this because alaya had two dance classes today she had her normal competitive dance practice and then she i tried an energy drink the other day because i had to do a long thing i had to go to syracuse really early like two o'clock in the morning i tried it nothing nothing coffee does things energy drink nothing didn't even, I thought it would feel like having a coffee. Nothing. It was delicious though. Having a dress up theme birthday party. I'm so excited. So that's. Can you say hi to me please, Kraya? You're the best mom ever I look up to. Princess Soph, look me in the eyes right now. You look up to this? Get better influencers in your life. Better yet, get off the effing internet completely if you look up to something like this. And that's just proof. That there are people who think that Kira is like, yes, queen, she's the one I want to follow her example of. And there are people who do. They honestly believe that. There are morons who will be like, Kira's great. Like, right? <laughs> right? No, she's not. F off, weirdo. It's going to happen, yeah, on Saturday. <sighs> honeymoon. Oh, my gosh. How fun. Oh, my gosh. F off. Guys, I'm more excited for my honeymoon than my wedding. Like, we know no one's coming to your wedding. So, why would you be excited for a wedding when we're all gonna roast the f and living f for out of you? Why would you be excited for your wedding when we're gonna roast you alive? It's gonna be awesome. How much you guys want to bet? There's no way she's even gonna post any of that. And if it's gonna be like up close shots of her and press and no one else, she ain't showing any of that. Cause we are gonna roast it. I the wedding is so stressful at this point, and like, why is your wedding stressful? No one's coming. Not like you have to plan for a lot. What's so stressful about it? Just don't do it then. Just money, 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 money is like all I can think of. Oh, I was talking about a lot of comments in the last video. She's talking about, hey, did you know if you say you're not doing a wedding, it's like $10,000 cheaper and then you just go and do a wedding. So many people who are like, look, I'm a wedding planner. Or I'm an event organizer and all the stuff. And those people find out you're doing a wedding. They're just going to charge you the 10,000 extra on top of it. She's not as smart as she thinks she is. Well, obviously she's not smart at all anyway. But that's what she thinks she's going to like, is pro tip. And these people are going to follow her and try to do that. And then they're going to get an extra $10,000 bill on top of the bill. And they're all going to be screwed. Some people are going to get screwed because of things that she's saying. Don't listen to Kira. She's literally a crook all the way through. In so many aspects of her life, she's a crook. So I'm so excited because the honeymoon is like, I mean, it's expensive, but it's it's a longer, it's like a two week occurrence. Whereas like, you know, the wedding is just. Can you imagine having someone like with this face, but like the guy isn't paying for, like he's such a loser. Like she is paying for absolutely everything. He can't, he's like, look, I'll get the, I'll get the Duncan on the way to the airport. Gotcha girl. Like, you know, Preston's like this guy. Like this is Preston right here. Universal position. <laughs> when guys with no money make their girls pay for everything. Does that even, I even look like Preston. <laughs> I like what looks like him. Oh, I love it. That's never a truer statement. Nice. Why do you look like Bill Cosby here? This really sh mm, put in bats. short couple hour thing that costs so much money and it's just hard for me to... So stop complaining about it. Don't do it. There are alternatives. Why do you complain about something that you do not have to do? 
I never understood that. You don't have to. No one's coming anyway. Go get the marriage certificate, sign at the courthouse, then do your little barbecue or whatever, then go on your honeymoon. No one's coming anyway, Kira. Not justify it because I don't want to make it seem like I don't want that, you know? Yeah. You do want it. But the problem is no one's coming. That's what you don't want. You don't want to be called out for how gross you are and how abandoned you are because you are. It's just, it's crazy. Like, I always knew they were expensive, but every freaking venue is like fifteen to $30,000 and then... Really though? Is that true? Go to like a restaurant then. It cannot be fifteen thirty thousand dollars to book a part of a restaurant. Again, not a lot of people come. You don't need a big of a space. Does she think hundreds are coming or something? Who's coming to this thing? There's like a food minimum and ah, uh, so she's got to pay the minimum, and she's like, "Well, I have six people coming. Well, you do minimum two hundred and fifty plates. Well, that's a lot of food." Wow. Huh? So she's just, it's so weird because she's stuck between a rock and a hard place. That's the problem here. She can't admit that no one's coming, but she also wants to do this thing so she can like, look, everybody, look how many people are here. No one's coming, Kara. Like, we can see if we can tell if it's AI. Just count their fingers. This shit. And I'm like, I am not spending $100,000 on my wedding. Obviously. Absolutely not. And see how she says, I'm not? Because Preston, again, isn't paying for anything. <laughs> So, I debate every day. <laughs> I think I said this. <laughs> <all the time. laughs> cackle, cackle. Yeah, run to the. Do it. Just do it then. Why are you not? She's so hung up on her haters that this is the only reason she's doing this because she's like, F them haters. I'm not done that. Oh my gosh, yes. I feel like everybody's just like tired right now. I think it's a thing. No, nobody's tired. I just realized there's a person that does um, on care Renee Sivertson does the recaps of the videos and spends time and thank God to this person. I'm gonna see if I can find it. It is Wine Wednesday Summary by uh, Pretty Raisin. I don't like raisins, but I think I like you. Okay. So here's a summary. She gives the whole summary right here. Talked about TV shows for seven thousand, so seventy four thousand three hundred eighty nine years. <laughs> Such a good number. Her and her fiance arranged one dressed up as Britney Spears. Okay, now it gives in Halloween. Okay, thank you for this. Um, pretty raisin. Guys, I, yeah, I don't know. That might be true. Paris, you might be right. I just don't like to watch it. She's still talking about TV shows right now. Every year I've dressed up with the kids. Here we go. I've done the family costume. I've done all of it, right? I mean. She's going to about to list a bunch of things. I've done the family costume and then things. No, don't get off in a listing vocal thing be like you're about to list some things and list one thing okay i'm for sure gonna have like serious remembering problems because memory issues remembering problems <laughs> i already do i actually got the costumes for fiance and i'd be britney just call him preston we all know who it is like it's so silly that she calls him fiance it's so dumb and the astronaut from her music video. If you follow him on Instagram, I posted it. Or no, I posted it on my Instagram. Uh oh, someone was calling this out too. She posted. <laughs> did she just say that she posted on Preston's Instagram? Uh oh. And he reposted it. Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> Kira, imagine your life is this way because Oscar's living his best life. That you have to start your fiance Instagram and post on it. So it looks like you guys have a good relationship. Imagine that. Imagine that. Slipped up though there, did you? Oh no. Whatever. Point is. Whatever. Whatever. I did it. Whatever. We decided not to do it. I did. Because the kids were having so much fun dressed up. And it was just one of those things where <laughs> I, was like, I love I love social media. This is not me shitting on social media. I love mm. seeing everybody's costumes. It was really cute to see, especially mm -hmm. the family costumes are so fun to watch be put together and see like the efforts and what people pick and like the creativity all of that but my kids didn't give a shit if i dressed up and like they were having so much fun dressing up on their own that it felt just like wow are you just being a human right now like <laughs> so you just admitted every other time it's for her <laughs> i'm strictly doing this for social media yeah so, like i was dressing up to take a picture and post on instagram and it was just like I don't, but this is weird. I don't need to dress up. What do you mean, so your whole life was that way, and now it's weird? Okay. Especially, um, the kids- And you don't think it's weird that people pay $5 to hear you rant? You don't think that's weird, that these weirdos in here are weird? I, I had the kids 
for all of Halloween. I mean, they went to school and did all that, but they dressed up for school. And then we did a bunch of like Halloween things after school. And then later at night, their dad picked them up and took them to, I think trick or treating, or I think they did something. I had them all Halloween, except I didn't have them on Halloween. That's a cure right there. Every single time. She always says something in the next phrase completely, completely reverses what she said in the first part of the phrase. I had them all Halloween. Oscar had them on Halloween. People were like, we're burning. Halloween-y together. So I didn't even go trick-or-treating. So even more of a reason that I was like, what? Why? <laughs> Why am I dressing up? Because, Kara, you, you say it yourself. You make a living on social media. It's kind of par for the course for what people do. So what do you mean, why? That's your whole living. You know? So you just didn't want to be made fun of by your haters. Basically, no, I didn't. We didn't end up dressing up and we saved for the costumes in case of like next year. So you bought them. Okay, okay, okay. And especially another thing to add to that is all the kids picked their own costumes this year. It's very different when your kids are all really young, like really, really young, where you're still choosing costumes for them because then the family costumes make sense. I wasn't let my kids choose their costumes know how young they are. I mean, when they're one or something and not gonna remember, it's a little different. But like, when they're old enough to trick or treat, uh, yeah, you can pick your own costumes. At this age, like all of my kids, wanted to pick their own thing you know like they don't mm. want to all be the same category or all be whatever so aura is at the age and even avery where i could have asked them to do like a family costume but because the other kids were picking hey. their own and then we have the honeymoon and just all these goals and then tearing down this house and building a new house i'm trying to be better at really being stricter with my budgets because if <laughs> You literally are about to marry an accountant who probably does this for a living. <laughs> I was trying to have budgets, and then I'm just like, well, but I want, like... But I want a new car every three months. <laughs> something nicer. I want fake boob. Something better, and it's like, I'm trying to not do that, so... Thank you, Katie. I'm really trying. I don't... When she says she's really trying, she means she's failed at everything. I feel like I'm very good at it, but... You're not. You suck. You know, I'm you figuring it out. You're not. And I'm really happy with, right now, at least the balance of, quite honest, like, when I started not showing them, I didn't know where that would lead. I still don't know, like, if that will ever change or not, but I just kind of went with... Well, we went with our instinct, because even their dad, who you guys know does social media, too, like... <laughs> like you know Oscar, right? You guys know him. Do you remember Oscar? We made that decision together. Ah, uh, did you? So you are not allowed to make the decision. You already made the decision. She says, "Well, I want to show the kids now." Oscar's gonna be like, "No, no, you're not." And I hope he stands on that. And I didn't really know where it was. So when she says we made that together, Oscar made that decision. Thank God. Gonna lead it, or if I was gonna like it, like long term, because. My kids really do love social media, and I know they're young. No, they don't. Young and no, they don't. Like, how can they make that choice? But it exactly is what I've been saying this whole time. They can't make the choice. It was hard for them. They were sad being told that they couldn't be on camera or make these certain videos. You know. You know why they're sad about this, and this is actually quite sad. Actually, it's not sad for them, this is good for them. But it's sad is because when she's filming and vlogging doing all those things, it's something she's doing without them and they don't get to spend time with her. So she's like, sorry kids, you can't be on camera, but I'm gonna go over here and do this and get out of here, get out of here. It's because you're pushing your kids away when you're doing this thing. That's what they're sad about. They're not sad about not being on camera. They're sad about that you get to do it over there while they get pushed out to the side or blurred out or whatever the case may be and pushed out. They don't get to spend that time with you anymore because that's what, that's it. That's the two sides to every parent who family vlogs. The side where the, when the cameras are on and who they are when the cameras are on and who they are when the camera's off. And they miss being on front because when you guys had the camera on, at least she had to be a little bit nice and had fake a little bit. But they didn't know the difference. Okay? That's crazy. That's telling more than you thought you were telling. So anyways. Anyways. I didn't know where that would lead. And I feel like I'm really happy with where it's led and finding a balance between my content because I also feel like I... It's slowly becoming more of my hobby again. And it's always been a hobby. What? 
your hobby sucks. But also my job, and I feel like I'm finding a really happy medium where it's... Are you finding a medium? Because you post a video every three weeks for six and a half minutes. And you're like, it's, it's so busy, my videos take me so long! Six minute video? Something that's my creative space now, it's just about me, and just about, you know, talking about my kids, but also my relationship, and also me as a person, without putting pressure of, like, showing anybody... <laughs> Or anything? Am I making sense? I no, no, you're not. I feel like I'm not really making sense. You're not. You guys get the and then she does that, and she realizes halfway through, is like, am I making? I'm not making sense. Am I making sense? It is whatever. And then she moves on. No, Kira, you are a jumbled pile of poo. Just of what I'm saying. So, yeah, it's been interesting to navigate. Do you host Thanksgiving for who? Her dad? <laughs> Yeah, totally. I think Preston's family's coming over for Thanksgiving to their house. It smells like farts in here. Did we just come after you guys did something? Ew. Yeah, but it's been a really good. Imagine being around Karen Preston, you smell a fart, and you're like, oh my gosh, I just am part of this now. I can't. I can't. And it's been really fun and forced me to be creative and okay. more lighthearted about social media. Because also, like on Levi's birthday, this is a great example. Um, I started vlogging because I wanted to vlog. I wanted to have that for memory's sake. Shut up. And a lot of people think it's a lot. I hate this stupid excuse. A lot deeper than that when you show your kids on social media. And it I is. I guess I can. It is a lot deeper than that. The excuse I use, I want memory. Yeah, I will make memories. And even film it if you want. You don't have to post it for millions of people to watch, though. That's what I've always said. Speak to everybody. For everybody. But for me personally, I genuinely loved the memories. You know, and I would okay. look back on okay on these birthday videos and so that a part of that still, still can film it weirdo you can still film it all you want but she can't get past the thing like oh i've got to film i need to share the whole point was the other half it's the sharing with strangers you don't have to do no one says you can't film it put it on a hard drive and watch it whenever you want like we did back in the day well i didn't but normal families did bring out the old vhs tapes and watch the videos that's normal okay that's awesome nostalgic and fun that's the separation though. I can't believe I keep just fam clapping. That's the separation. Oh my God, the clients, what's happening? That is the separation. Okay, don't put it on the internet. Do the rest though. She's so dumb. Makes me really sad because I don't have as many of those memories documented and posted online, right? And realistically, I am not filming them and keeping them on my own because I, that's an option, but, um... What? Yeah. What? That, of course... So there, she just admitted it. The only reason I would ever film is not for the memories to have it all, because she's like, that's an option, but I'm not going to do it for that. She just admitted to you that she's like, I like the memories, but what she does is she likes the growth that gave her channel. She likes the money. She just lied to y'all. And these dumbasses in here in this chat are like, yeah, big think Shabira? I'm not realistically doing that, so... <sighs> See, she just, where am I going? Oh, I forget, you forgot the lie already. What an idiot. Oh, on his birthday, I started to vlog and I was like, okay, I just won't show his face and, um, or any of the other kids' face and we'll just go throughout this birthday and I'll still have the memory. Someone's like, am I making sense? And Jennifer says, no, you are not. And then Shabria says, yes, it makes sense. Does it? Because you have to speak here ease to understand what she's saying there. And what she just said there was, I want to vlog for memories, but I'm not vlogging for memories. Because why would I vlog for memories? Right, that's stupid. I have it without showing him. And then as the day went on, one, there was way too much going on for me to be worried about a camera. And then it felt wrong. And then Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Never a true statement has come from Kira's forehead ever in her life before. It felt wrong. And all family vloggers have had this moment in their life. But you know what? You know what? It you know what overcomes it? Their lust for money always overcomes that. They all have. They all know that. They have all felt that. If you ask them honestly and you were in their circles and they answered honestly, they would tell you, yeah, it feels wrong to do this. But they don't care because money matters more. Like, I just got a weird email. Um, Dear fart subscriber. Dear subscriber, our fart for the month is going to be a little delayed this year. There's a shortage of beans. It, I felt like I was putting more energy in. You know she buys only, you know, you know, you know Preston buys OnlyFans fart content girls, right? They fart in jars and send it out. He buys those things. You know that, right? It's weird. 
to the video and my camera and giving all of that attention rather than the kids, you know, and Levi's birthday. So I put the camera down, stopped filming all of it, and it was just way better. Like I wasn't worried about the angle or if I was accidentally showing somebody's face or any of that, you know, it was just about his birthday. And I thought that that was definitely worth it. And I really, I'm glad that I made that choice. Good. I'm glad you made that choice too. So kudos to you for the, for finally realizing it. Choice. That was a really long explanation. Yeah, it was stupid too. For that. Sorry. It was dumb. But you also lied. What's next? So it says, someone asked what her favorite memory is this year. And she said that she's had a big year. Okay, let's see this. <laughs> What's your favorite thing that's happened to this year so far? I feel like you've had a big year. Oh my gosh, I know. I feel like oh my I'm gosh. That's a really good question. Um, I can't choose. I mean, losing my friends was the big thing. Having an engagement party with Preston's... Um, Friends, girlfriends, that was weird, but it was good. I did it, and I dressed up weird. It was fun. I had a dress that was six times too big, and my shoes were ugly, and that was, that was a big moment. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This year's been quite weird. What's my favorite thing? I mean, obviously, like, getting engaged and getting... <laughs> Pearl. Just into <laughs> a solid... I feel like I really just found my solid place in life, you know, and like this is your solid that place. It feels really good and it feels really accomplishing. Mm -hmm. So definitely that. It feels really accomplishing. Is it? Is that what that okay. Um I feel like I've really made changes like as a mom that I've always wanted to do and that feels really good as well. Nah. You're all way worse than you were. Well so I don't know. Mm. You're talking about House of Dragons. Oh. How they always have the miscarriages and stuff. Yeah, that's rough, huh? Yes. I couldn't remember the name of the show, but then to be friendly. Ah, here comes Taint Zits. Welcome, Taint Zits, to the chat. Yeah, I'm gonna call them Taint Zits from now on, okay? Have you found yourself yet? <laughs> Scottsdale. Okay, so I think that Scottsdale JJDR is a hater who pays to be in this chat, and I love it. I'm surprised she hasn't booted them out yet, but if there's a plan, I'm going to do it. Eventually, I'm going to be like, I'm going to pay the five bucks, and we're going to live stream the snark, and it's going to be epic sauce. So we can't really pause, so we're going to have to be like going along with it and stuff, and whatever. But it's going to be fine. But that's what Scottsdale Jr. does. I love it. <laughs> See, look, the face. She knows exactly what that person's talking about, finding yourself. Because we make fun of her about that all the time. I can you find myself? Have I found myself yet? <laughs> this is a great question. I don't think you ever stop finding yourself. Oh, and I think if you true. ever feel true. that you do, it's probably not a good thing. You should always like strive to find out more. And <laughs> Imagine being content. If you're content, then something's wrong. And be a better version of yourself. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. But. Look, someone says, what happened to your video about pull-ups? I only saw a second of it now. I can't find it. I think pull-ups probably told her to pull it. You know what I'm saying? Because they people reached out and saying, first of all, if you're an influencer, stop doing pull-up commercials. Announcing to the world your kid pisses the pant, pisses their pants. Okay, plot, stop. Stop doing it. It's not worth your money. So I got distracted. <laughs> By nothing. But yes, I think I found the best version of myself right now. Like, I <laughs> this is the best version of Kira. <laughs> Imagine being this like you. I, I just, I mean, it must be nice to live in a world where you're like, you're just so ignorant to everything. You're like, this is the best version. This is the best version of you right now, Kira. This is it. Dang, man. I feel like I've really found my happy place, and it's with far in Vegas. Do I want to be as like a mom and a fiance? And <laughs> oh my gosh. And oh my gosh. My life online. <laughs> I definitely you were all that before, dude. You were until you stole your nanny's husband. I feel like I found myself. I'm like this mom who's got a fiance and sharing my life on the internet. Have you ever heard of your channel called OK Baby? I don't know if you've heard of that. created boundaries for myself which I also think is a really good thing I think all adults lack to realize all adults lack to realize I don't even know what the grammar police would say here all adults lack to realize all adults lack realization 
How about that? But she would never be able to do that. So, grammar police. How little boundaries we all have for the people around us or the things that we have going on in our life. And I feel like I what? put my foot down, you know? On what? Put your foot down on what? And it's been a really good thing. Some people what have you put your foot down on? People don't like me for it, but... <laughs> that Nobody likes you for who you are. What do you mean you put your foot down on what? What did you put your foot down on? Your whole family? Cool. That's okay. That's usually what happens. Yeah, usually what happens when you steal your nanny's husband, throw your family in the garbage, and walk on like you're the good person. That's usually what happens. People don't like you anymore. Yep. Are you really this obtuse? She must be. She, I, I would love to live in this world sometimes. Like, I don't need to say anything. How was your shower? Did you shower? Yeah, it was so I always feel like that's so funny to say because I definitely don't feel like that, you know, like, I don't know. That's a big word, <sighs> but I What's think a big that, word? The? Can you guys tell my brain is all over the place tonight? Tonight? <laughs> you mean tonight? It's always, always all over the place. Tonight. I will always create videos in some sort of way. Mm. I love... Only fans. Meeting people online in this way and also just you? having That's a weird. creative space for me, like I said earlier. So I can't imagine, I mean, if the whole world can hate me and I'm still on here making videos like nobody does, <laughs> I think that answers the question for you. Yeah, but your videos are garbage. For you, I definitely. And you have no choice. Like, what else are you going to do? <laughs> what else are you going to do? I definitely want to do what I do now for a very long time. Oh, well, that's not going to be up to you. When you make $5 a month. What kind of food for the wedding? Oh, the cheapest option ever. Mm, sounds like it's gonna be a celebration of love to me. <laughs> um, we're having crackers. Okay, saltines, no salt, just teens. Okay, pigs. Expect me to pay for a wedding? <laughs> Imagine getting an invite to this wedding after hearing all this be like the cheapest garbage thing you've ever eaten in your life water and saltine with no salt a little paper bags full of snacks I'm just mm, i would love delicious. to be honest i want like appetizers mm. endless appetizers that's what you get at a wedding anyway okay. that just sounds like my ideal thing like who does i mean i agree to a degree as long as those appetizers include bacon wrapped scallops. Because if that's happening, I, like I'll, I'll stand by the doors when they come out with the thing, and I'll be like, I, I'll take that. Anytime they step out with bacon wrapped scallops, I'll eat them all. That's me. All of them. And in the kitchen, like, how many bacon wrapped scallops do you need? A million, I'll say. A million. Don't ask questions, just bring the bacon wrapped scallops. What adult doesn't love to snack? But <laughs> I guess like you're supposed to have like a formal dinner. Okay, you wanted the wedding. This isn't people asking you to do it. You wanted this. See, I'm not good at this. Taco bar is an option. That is one of the main things that we're looking into. It's just a lot of the venues that I like. A little fancier. They don't look very cute with like tacos, but I get- Who cares? And whatever's gonna be affordable. Why, and but your, but your honeymoon could be a million dollars. Come to our affordable wedding. <laughs> no thanks, we're good. What booze you're gonna have? It's BYOB. But you gotta hide it because the venue will be angry if I tell people to bring their booze. What was your rock and rose for the day? Is that supposed to be like peach and pit? I think so. My rock and rose. Dude, that's kind of cute. Stupid, it's all dumb. What was my rock? Oh my gosh, what even happened today? You don't even know what happened in your day? You had a tough day. Yes, Levi did have a tough day. I hate Preston. You're such a dick, old Preston. And you know it. Apparently, they call him dad. Could you imagine if an Oscars video they called, what's the other girl's, Addie, or mom? Could you imagine what she would do? Do not call this gross looking weirdo daddy. She calls him daddy. Ew. And maybe they're calling him daddy because she calls him daddy, though. You know what I mean? Oh! <laughs> Get it out of my brain! My rock. My rose. What? It's Orr's birthday. Definitely Orr's birthday, but like a specific moment was this morning, Aura and I were playing with her toy that she got for her birthday, and she always just amazes me with how smart she is. She's secret about it. Like, she doesn't want you to know, 
that she, it's like she's the baby of the family, you know? So she wants you to think she's just incapable and needs all the help in the world. And Weaponized incompetence. She can't even get up. She needs you to carry her. But when we were playing this game, and we, I have a lot of moments like this with her where I realized, like, oh my gosh, you are so smart. But today I had a lot of that where I was just like, wait, you know all these shapes? And you didn't tell me? <laughs> Miss Rachel, we have to Oh, someone it. said dad challenge wants you to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. And then, uh, oh, that's Scottsdale. Okay, okay. Who cares? Clearly, she's not bothered by him. Clearly. Clearly, she's not. Remember that Lindsay Sharp just said, clearly, she's not bothered by him. Remember that. Miss Rachel, all the credit in the world. I think that she deserves every parent's salary, like at least mm -hmm. 50%. Because parents, parents get salary? She's doing more than that. Celery? The work out here. Hmm. Any chance of vlogmas? See, she skipped over the dad challenge, tells you the truth. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You guys, so badly, I want to do vlogmas. You have no idea. You could never do vlogmas. It's one day. It's one video a day in December. Could you imagine? I'm doing it. It's called Snarkmas, though. And it's going to be dope. And she's going to be in it for sure. Yeah. Did you say what's that? Are you trying to be disowned? Really? Guy doesn't know what Vlogmas is and you can like, I'm, how dare thee? You don't know what Vlogmas is? F off, divorce. Well, what is it? Well, what is it? What is it? I don't know. Maybe farts like blow up his tongue. You just vlog Christmas? <laughs> Christmas Eve. There's Scottsdale, like just bringing it. Are you bothered by dad challenge? Vlogmas is where you vlog every day. For December, honey. <laughs> DC, D, DPC, Dad Podcast Challenge needs to worry about the eight hairs on top of her forehead before anyone else be for real. On top of her forehead or my forehead? Are you making fun of my balding hair? Look at this, man. I got MD hair, though. It's coming back. There's more than eight hairs up here, okay? There's like 15. Jerks. <laughs> but she said, on top of her forehead before anyone else be <laughs> <laughs> my biggest struggle is the okay here's my thing i can't just start do they all just go off in the dc i love when the chat just goes off when you try to ignore it it's so funny well actually i can't start filming you if i actually have a folder on my computer called footage of oh. all the days i've started vlogging and just not finished sounds like you sounds like something you do i need some i need i need the the protein to the meal okay like if I don't have a title and thumbnail in mind for that video, which I know I'm taking away from the authenticity by saying that. This is a positive space. Stop bringing in negativity. Is this a positive space? Let me just tell you that's every person on the internet <laughs> that you watch. They had an- Then Katie put his. <laughs> I love it. These women suck at roasting. Idea for that title and thumbnail. The rest isn't as planned, but usually you have like something to talk about or you know, there's a reason, there's, there's, I don't know there's what she's meat saying right now. to the video. Oh. Right, you said protein to the meal, you already said it. Just a th title and thumbnail, but there's way more to the video. Oh, so I'm just trying to- What are you saying? Lemonade time. Hmm. Think of what- it's Watery. Can I come up with that many videos? Especially because you guys, my life is- Especially? As a mom, very unroutinely routine. As a mom of four, we what? have the same schedules Monday through Friday. And I just feel like that would be really boring to show every day. Not that So I what would change then about the other stuff you do? If it's the same and you do it every day, it's the same when you do it every other week too. So okay. it's boring. It is your your life sucks, Kira. You suck. You're not creative. She thinks she's some creative genius on YouTube. Have you ever seen her videos? Oh my god! And then they just end block. Like there's nothing to it. Nothing. There's always some chaos. It's like she's editing and she just gets bored. She's like hurry up and then she's like, okay, fine, render. Doesn't even edit the ending. Shit. Dad challenges a big forehead and yet calls you five feet forehead. I don't never called her five feet forehead. I think they meant to say five head, but I've never used that, but it's funny. Five feet forehead. Okay, I have a receding hairline. It's a lot different than a forehead that big, okay? Yes, I have a big forehead because I don't have any hair up here, you know? Look at this. She has a big forehead, and I don't know why, because there's no brain in there. I'm just, I don't know. 
I want to do it. Do you get it? Am I making sense? Scottsdale about to be kicked out of this chat, though. <laughs> not really. No, you're not. Kinda. Listen. In a dysfunctional way you are. No. See, no. See, and that's how the vlogs would be. So I want to do it, and I just need to stop being so strategic about it and just be like, just film. Yeah. And definitely something happens every day in your life that you would be able to freaking post it and have people care, right? So... If you just made a, a video that was titled unfinished videos slash random clips, there'd be like three hours worth of footage. That's what I'm saying. I have- Yeah, that'd be so fun to watch. So much random vlogs that I just didn't finish because I'm like, people don't care. They don't. So then why do you post anything? You can do a vlogness of unfinished video. <laughs> <laughs> Decorating your- Are we talking about me right now? Sounds like dad challenge, I got a laugh. <laughs> You're right, Taylor's cherry. Taylor's Jerry, I should get alive. Tree going to a light show, making it. So, see, I guys, I know there's stuff that get alive. That I could vlog, like for sure. It's not the lack of content or the things that I. I do. think because they're talking about me more, that she's gonna start talking about me in a second here. Doing a day, it's the lack of interesting title and thumbnails. You know, because right. if I'm going to like put that much work and effort and time into filming all day every day for December. <sighs> I am gonna want people to just use AI to watch it. Like it's really easy. Type it in. I have a huge forehead and nobody likes me, but I need a title of this video. Help me out here, and it'll give you a title. It'll be good too. Like I know that. Uh, like I feel like I'm. Just this do it. You suck, man. You suck at this. You suck at thinking about anything. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? I don't know. People don't care, and then I'm sad. <laughs> ah, cackle. <laughs> Uncomfortable. This is the uncomfort cackle. <laughs> Everybody hates me. <laughs> this is true. The haters will always show up. If yeah. I mean, it's fun, right? If there's anybody who's going to show this up, this is fun. The haters will be there. Yeah, we will. Bell's on. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I just overthink it and worry too much. I just, mm. I don't want So, the stuff that you put out there is you not overthinking because it's garbage too. I like take away from time with the kids to film and stuff and then not end up posting it and see look at these arguing Lindsay and uh, scott seal arguing she doesn't need to defend herself though we're not here to talk about a grown-ass man talking about a mom hey that's a nah yeah, i'm just i don't really think it i don't really think it i mean you're talking about a mom you don't know there lynn do you know that you don't know her she doesn't know you you're nobody i probably know her more than you do okay get a life <laughs> Who? They keep talking about me. Kira, please block Scottsdale. He ruins every life. <laughs> At least she's making money from him. That's true. Scottsdale is paying to be there. My thought, a hater would be hating with his pockets. Dollar dollars. I don't know. Well, listen. Means. Did she skip it all the DCV? I can't read it. <laughs> every time I've been knocked out, it's been on the side. Every time I've been knocked out, it's been on the side, too. <laughs> Ew. Is that supposed to be some kind of thing? Sex thing? <laughs> Guys, okay, I, I think we should just commit to Vlogmas. Commit it. Please do. For November? Yeah. No, not November. It's I'm December. I'm going to commit to three times a week. No, you're not. Why are you lying right now? We know you're not going to. <laughs> Such a liar. LOL. <laughs> Yeah, even she knows that she's lying. He's like, I'm just kidding. I'm just not, I'm no way. The other problem besides all the shit I just named is editing. Like, editing Hire is... Hire somebody, then. Instead of going on a $200,000 vacation to Africa, which you think is a country, with press taint, hire an editor. In my day to, like, set aside a couple hours to do it, because I will say, out of all of the people that I've been around who make content, similar content as me, different mm -hmm. content to, yeah. as, than yeah. me... <laughs> Um, then as me. I'm pretty quick at editing. <laughs> you damn liar. You said, so really? I, I can do it in like no, you're not. four hours. But the problem is, is like having enough content of that. You have an assistant. So yeah. Guys, I need to just shut up and do it. Like grow you're up. You're not going to do it. Up. That's what fiance would say. Grow up. Fiance. Up. Guys, whenever we argue. Which is never. God, why would we? We're so healthy. And she's saying that facetiously, right? She's saying that they argue all the time is what she's saying to you. 
He always, well, he doesn't anymore. He used to always I'm say, just... grow up. <laughs> but now, every time, <laughs> now I tell him, just grow up. And now it's, and even I got my dad on it. So, like, we all are just like, grow Good comeback. Grow up. Grow up. Go life. So it doesn't work in a fight anymore. If there's something that drives you nuts like that in an argument, just make it a joke. And then, I was born in 95. <laughs> I was 15 when Preston was born. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, then I'm not interested. Imagine being that much of a dick at that young of an age. <laughs> <laughs> What's on your wish list this Christmas? That... DCP to die. <laughs> That's a great question. Okay. I love jacuzzis. I am a... Say it. Whore. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> agreed. Totally agreed. You said it though, not me. Yeah. Like the trashiest whore you know. I'm glad that we're finally admitting everything out loud. Does it not feel better to say it out loud, just get off your chest, Kira? <laughs> Doesn't it? I mean, it feels good. Thank God. For a jacuzzi. Oh, for jacuzzi, my bad. Absolutely, yes. Any day, anytime, I'll be there. <laughs> we know. So sorry I had to abruptly cut that, but I had to cut this in half because that's just how we roll here. I didn't know it was gonna be so long, but the part two is gonna definitely gonna come out tomorrow. I'm in Birmingham this week getting this tooth fixed, so that's why I'm doing all these videos like this. So you wanna stick around for part two tomorrow. That's the juicy stuff. Cause I roast the ever living garbage out of Kira. So thank you for being here. Thank you for amazing. Take a huge deep breath with me. <sighs> what a butthole she is. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>